how do you reflect on a, on a performance like that from both teams and a result like that in the Champions Cup? Um, well, it's very hard to take the positives out of it at this time um, because we were well beaten. I think uh, we talked about starting the game well, first 20 minutes, really putting them under pressure, trying to quieten the home crowd. And we didn't do it. I think um, we came second in, in so many areas. I think the set piece, I think some of the physicality at clear out, looking after the ball, we couldn't keep the ball at all. And then defensively, we were very poor chase. We kept getting um, kept getting broken. And we came up against a very good side who played very, very well on the day. And we didn't. Did they meet your expectations in how they approached the game? Yeah, without a doubt. I think we expected them to be exactly like that. You know, we know they've got some dangerous running. They've got an awesome back line. They've got a big, powerful pack who, again, has put you under pressure in all phases of the game. And um, that's what happened today. But we didn't react very well. And uh, we've, we've had this in the past. You know, we had some fantastic days in Europe when we played really, really well and risen to the challenge. Today, we didn't rise to the challenge and, and they were the better team. Talk about their attack was, you know, they finished off some, some tries in very clinical fashion, particularly in the second half and, and right at the end of the first half. But the defence from Clermont, especially in that first half in their own 22, was, was something else. No, yeah, it's, it's tremendous and they're, they're a cracking side. And, uh, you know, to, to turn around at half time 27 0 down is um, it's a massive, massive. Um, way back and way forward and I think you know taking positives we did come back and in the second half the subs came on and uh, we, we, we made a uh, made a game of it at least we tried and I guess we finished that second half one try each um, so there were some positives out of that but we know we have been well beaten today and we know that if we want to go on and uh, retain our premiership then we've got to be better than we were today. Having another tough trip next Sunday afternoon to Exeter does that focus the mind immediately? Yeah without a doubt and uh, we'll, we'll reflect over the weekend and uh, on the way home and then we need to pull it back together again and we've done it in the past you know we I say we've had some very very good wins um, in Europe um, and we've had some poor ones as well and some disappointments this is down there with uh, I say down there with, with one of our worst days it's been really really disappointing but I've got every confidence in this team uh, that we can pull it back together work on those bits which we didn't go well today work on those and, and really make sure we start peaking for the end of the season we talked during the week about Clermont's crowd um, it was I don't think anybody who was here who's travelled over from Northampton would have experienced anything quite like that tonight it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. I think from an hour before kick-off, they were up there, they're cheering, dancing, singing, very, very noisy, supporting the team. Really, get, it, it, it was a, it's a, you know, to, to witness it, it, it was an experience in itself. But a lot of credit to the Saints fans who came over. We heard them, and a lot of credit. They were still singing after 70 odd minutes when, when the game was already lost. So um, no, I think it's. I think hopefully for our Saints fans, it's been a good experience for them apart from the game. And uh, you know, hopefully the team. The, um, we need to get better. Hopefully the the crowd can get behind the team when we when we're next home uh, and we can finish the season well. Do you think the Saints fans will take back that experience and go? You know what we. A, a, a place can be turned into a into a cauldron of noise like that. I, I hope so because it shows what um, what's possible, and, and that's just supporters, just getting behind the team and being passionate and, and giving everything to, to their team. And uh, no, it was it was brilliant for the for the Claremont team, and, and no wonder that inspires them and makes them play like they did today.